So there are a lot of uh, handstanders out there and people just starting uh, to get into their handstand journey. Um, some of you specialize, meaning you spend a lot of time just working handstand and not balancing out your training. And what can happen over time is a hyperextended elbows uh, and of course weaker um, vertical pull strength as well, as well as horizontal pull. And especially when we're working handstands, we spend a lot of time in this hollow position with elevated scapula and protracted shoulders. That's what a handstand ideally is supposed to uh, be about as far as what's holding you up. And so it can lead to an overdevelopment of your upper traps and that causes imbalances and potential pain issues down the road. Hopefully you've been taking care of yourself, but if you haven't, you just have to remember what is your scapular position most of the time when you're upside down. Again, it is uh, protracted and elevated sh scapular shoulder blades. So we want to feed it the opposite in order to balance out the strength and range of motion of your scap. So this is an exercise called scapular dips and scapular bench dips. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the outer edge of the bench and I'm going to make sure to really drive my shoulders away from my ears and at the same time retract the scapula. I want to make sure that my head is in a good position so you know I'm not quite straight. I know I'm at a slight angle here so I'm going to tuck my chin to my chest and give myself a little bit of a double chin. I'm strongly externally rotating my elbows. From this position I'm slightly away from the, uh, the bench. Right? I don't want to be too far. I can bring it back just so I'm skimming the front of the bench or the edge of the bench and while keeping my traps completely depressed I'm going to lower without engaging my upper traps so if you were to touch my traps right now they'd be soft I'm maintaining retraction but now my scapula are elevated and from this position I'm going to press into depression and retraction so we have depression and scapular retraction, depression, scapular elevation. Notice I'm trying to stay as retracted as possible and taking myself through that range of motion. The money part of this exercise is the push up. Right? We're really depressing the scapula here and we're building depression strength which means we're building our lower traps. Now this is a strengthening drill so really work on the eccentric and take your time. Um, reps and sets, honestly they really don't matter. It's just about good quality repetitions that challenge you but, force, but you have to force yourself to stay in a really good position the whole time. Keep working that drill if you notice you've been working handstands too much. And of course, as always, I tell all my students, why aren't you working your vertical pulls and horizontal pulls? We need to do more of the hanging from false grip to just the regular chin hang that's programmed already into the gymnastic bodies program. A lot of good exercises there. It's about balancing your body. You don't want to specialize so much that you create an injury. That's it for today. Thank you for hanging with me.